It was 1944, World War II, uh, and this is how the, uh, the U.S. naval fleet was affected by Typhoon Cobra. This was before naming conventions had come into play, so it was also known as the Typhoon of 1944, which is terribly unoriginal, but it was also known as the Halsey Typhoon, and that was named after Admiral William Bull Halsey of the U.S. Navy. The, ta the U.S. Task Force was in the Pacific, more specifically in the Western Pacific during this time, and on the December 17th day in tonight, the fleet out on the open waters were completely taken by surprise by the approach of this very powerful storm. It packed sustained winds of 160 kilometers per hour. It had gusts of 225 kilometers per hour. So this relatively small, this very localized storm, very fierce storm, however, took the task force and its ships while they were prone because they were trying to refuel. So, I mean, you've seen this before where you have something where it, it, they're occupied doing one thing, but they have a fierce storm approaching them. They had nowhere to go. They were their most vulnerable. They were totally taken by surprise and totally unprepared. And as a result of that, three destroyers sank with all hands on board. Sadly, in the end, 790 officers were lost in this storm. Another 80 were injured. From Typhoon Cobra during World War II, this day in weather history.